FARC are a Colombian terrorist organization. Or perhaps if you speak to some people, they'll describe them as a freedom fighter organization. At Christmas time, it's very difficult to be a guerrilla fighter, especially in the jungles of Colombia. So the Colombian government decided to capitalize on this difficult time with an advert, because adverts can create peace, right? It might look like a trailer for yet another version of Apocalypse Now, but this is actually an advert produced for the Colombian government. Colombia has been fighting Las Fuerzas Armadas Revolucionarias de Colombia, FARC to you and me, since 1964, and a fair few people have been killed on both sides. But the Colombian government's been trying a new tactic recently. They've joined up with an advertising agency to launch Operation Bethlehem, hence all the schmaltzy music in the background. They're dropping 10,000 LED lights, creating a pathway to plazas and towns close to guerrilla bases, where there are spotlights pointing into the sky. They've also been placing glow-in-the-dark stickers on trees and installing billboards, telling FARC's 8,000-odd guerrillas to follow the light. Supposedly, Christmas time is difficult for guerrillas. They're far away from their families, and they're not necessarily in a part of the country they know at all. Colombian military intelligence suggests that FARC have been repositioning their units to try and prevent desertion. But it's not the first time they've tried something like this. They've previously launched the Rivers of Light campaign, where they dropped thousands of lights into rivers, the main lines of communication for FARC. They've also had Operation Christmas, where two Black Hawk helicopters were sent into the jungle to cover a 75-foot tree and 2,000 Christmas lights next to a sign encouraging FARC to demobilize. That campaign led to an estimated 331 more fighters leaving the group. But it's not always as simple as just deserting. In the past, some FARC members who have fled have been caught by the group and have often been killed. We've also spoken to Amnesty International, who've told us that they're worried that the towns won't be demilitarized. They say that FARC deserters could be hunted down by their former comrades, leading to fighting in the areas and placing civilians under serious threat. Anyway, while all this shining path stuff's going on, the Colombian government and FARC members are actually around the discussion table in Cuba, making what looks like progress in calling an end to the longest running armed conflict in South America. Perhaps the solution to the world's problems is just to advertise them away. Maybe we could make an advert for peace in the Middle East or an advert for peace in Central Africa. That could work, couldn't it? Let us know your thoughts in a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on videos like this. And if you are new to Truthloader, check out some of our other great videos and playlists on our new Spangly Endboard, which you're about to see now. Music